Here I'm attaching the drivetrain with the leaf springs to the frame with rotational locks. The rotational locks allow anything locked with it to rotate, so this will let the suspension compress and decompress when needed. I just realized now that I had the motor backwards. I had it like this when it's supposed to be like this. So what I did is just remove, uh, unlock, loosen this lock here and these two and the same three locks on this side. And that just let me drop the whole motor out. All right, so I fixed it and I fixed our rotation. So now I'm just pushing the locks back in. I'm using one of these buckle bearing RC tool uh, tools uh, makes it much easier to um, tighten these down so right here I'm just attaching the drive line to the motor in the center with some set screws then I move on to the back and attach the drive line to the rear drivetrain and that's pretty much for this step the next step would be adding the four wheels with four washers and four nuts here the wheels so this step here is pretty much straightforward, just adding washers on the rims and then after that using a nut to tighten it down with the wrench that came with the kit. So what I've done is um, loosen these locks here, there's four, one, two, two more at the bottom. <clears throat> and with them loose I can pull the axle housing off and it will just come off like that. So I got the two screws here, and I'm just going to loosen them. So I got the two screws, and so now I can just um, ease this way out. And then now the differential should be free to go. So now that I have the differential closed up together and greased up, now it's time to connect it to this drive line. Okay. Now it moves better. So the next thing I have to do is now take out this differential and add grease to it. Okay, so now I finished uh, putting grease in both the differentials and I finally fixed the orientation of the front. Uh, so that's done. Here we got the motor. Uh, I have it running here connected to the speed controller. The speed controller is going to be in tie down with a zip tie. Uh, the speed controller is then connected to the receiver here. I'm using the FlySky transmitter and receiver. Uh, this is only being attached here with a double-sided tape behind. Uh, I also have the steering servo attached here, going here towards the bottom or the front. And um, here's the battery. The battery is being held um, by the battery case holder. Um, and then later on we decided to to add the this fat shark transmitter um it's it's connected right now to these goggles right here but these goggles are um sky zone goggles but i don't have it connected right now and um so that's it pretty much for this setup and i'll show you a quick uh demonstration of it i made a i tried to make a small obstacle for it so i'm gonna try to drive with one hand while Recording with the other. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Alright. See if I can get a good video. Yeah, that wasn't really nothing, but. So that's it. So the next step that we're waiting for, uh, I ordered some parts. Uh, I ordered a Ardu pilot with uh, a compass, GPS, and a uh, some sensors, ultrasonic sensors. So we're waiting for those parts, and then when those parts come in, we can go ahead and try to make this rover autonomous and program it with GPS waypoints for it to follow. Uh, thanks for watching.